Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lumio Station. Hello Lumio Station, that's me, the one integral back here with some more Pokemon Data Decks for you all. Today we're looking at Sigilyph, the psychic flying type from Generation 5. But before we start, as usual, remember to suggest more Pokemon I can look at in future episodes in the comments section below. Anyway, let's just get on with this, shall we? So we have Sigilyph, it's the Avianoid Pokemon and is a psychic flying type and is number 561 in the National Pokedex and also features in the Coastal Kalos Pokedex as number 90. It is 4 foot 7 inches tall or 1.4 meter tall, however this could also be the wingspan. It's a bird like Pokemon so you really don't know because Pokemon doesn't specify which is just not very nice. It also weighs 30.9 pounds or 14 kilograms. It's in the egg flying group or the flying group for breeding, egg group, etc. and is you know half and half for male and female, so you're likely to get one or the other. It doesn't evolve into or from anything, so there's not much to say there. And taking a quick look at its base stats, we can see it has reasonably high defenses and sort of you know, high-ish health points. Um, fairly low attack because there's a psychic type which are mostly special attackers, but you can see that it has a pretty high special attack stat and also a fairly high speed stat as well. Um, and that's really what we'll be focusing on for the majority of the Wi-Fi setups later on. So if we take a quick look at the typing for Sigilyph and how it you know, resists, etc. It resists three types, which are Grass, Fighting, and Psychic, and it's weak to five types, which are Rock, Ghost, Electric, Ice, and Dark. It's immune to ground because it's a flying type, and it takes neutral damage from the rest of them. So you can see here it's weak to more than it resists, but, well, you know, Sigilyph isn't, a, it's not, it's not a tank, it's not a bulky Pokemon, however, it does have some traits that can allow it to be quite defensive, which obviously we'll look at a bit later on in the episode. Then if we take a quick look at the abilities available for Sigilyph, we can see it has three, two normal ones and the hidden ability. The first normal one is Wonder Skin, which makes status moves more likely to miss. This is reasonably helpful, but to be honest, it's not as helpful. It reduces most of them down to 50%, I think, um, which is it's all right. But then again, it just means if your opponent doesn't get the status move off, they're probably just going to carry on and attack you anyway. So it's, it could help you in some cases, but Wonder Skin really is it's not brilliant. Second ability here is Magic Guard, which is a good ability, which means the Pokemon only takes damage from attacks, which means it's immune to spikes, well, it's immune to spikes anyway because it's a flying type, but it's immune to Stealth Rock, which is very helpful on switching in, it's immune to I don't know, anything else that might cause it damage, you know, Will-O-Wisp, a Toxic, stuff like that, which sort of allows it to be a semi-offensive, you know, sort of bulky Pokemon, not amazingly bulky, but it allows it to be pretty offensive and pretty bulky at the same time. The hidden ability for Sigilyph is Tinted Lens, which powers up not very effective moves, and this ability is just not brilliant, because you're not going to really be wanting to use not very effective moves in too many situations. Um, obviously it might help you if you're in a corner and you have to use a move, but really, generally, it's not going to be too helpful. So if we move on to the highlighted moves now for Sigilyph, there are 10 here as usual. First one is Air Slash level 41, which is a special flying type attack. Then we have Psychic level 44, or via the TM obviously. After that we have Cosmic Power, which is level 48, which raises both Sigilyph's defense and its special defense, which can be quite helpful, uh, especially looking at more of a bulky setup there. Then moving on to the TMs, it can learn TM03 Psyshock, which is sort of the equivalent of Psychic, except it deals with the opponent's defense rather than the special defense, so really the choice of those is up to you I guess. TMO4 Calm Mind raises both its special attack and its special defense, so if you're looking for an offensive semi bulky Pokemon, then you definitely want to be running Calm Mind here. Next up at TM90 we have Roost, which is a flying type move that obviously restores your health points, which can be quite helpful and actually allows Sigilyph to sort of last in battle rather than just sort of being taken out fairly easily by any attack before it is allowed to set up. Then it can learn TM53 Energy Ball, which just gives it a bit more coverage move wise because Obviously, as you see, the only psychic type moves, we've, or the only moves we've seen so far, rather, are psychic type moves. So the grass just gives it a bit more coverage, um, so that's to hit more stuff with a bit more of a super effective hit. Then we have two egg moves here, which are Psycho Shift and Stored Power. These are going to be very good moves for one of the setups here, um, and that's sort of what, what they're going to be sort of centered around there. Psycho Shift is a status, uh, yeah, status move, which actually allows, um, why? It allows, yes, <laughs> allows Sigilyph to switch its status move from, or status condition rather, not status move, from itself to its opponent. So say um, it was poisoned by Toxic, say someone used Toxic on it, then Sigilyph could use Psycho Shift and switch the Toxic over to 
the toxic ore, which can be very helpful. It can it's certainly really one of the setups we're going to look at. Then, stored power is a move that does very damage depending on how many stat increases you have. So obviously we're going to be using that in a setup sort of thing. The last move here is Heat Wave, and this is a transfer only move, so unfortunately you're only going to be able to get it if you transfer from Generation 5. Um, so generally it's not going to be too too, uh, too seen, you know, obviously anyone that's Pokegening or transferring off Generation 5 is obviously going to have this move. But those of you breeding on Generation 6 and wanting to get Kalos bred Pokemon to use, obviously you're not going to be able to obtain this move. Okay, so if now we want to look at the setups for Sigilyph, we have three coming here. The first one is a Life Orb setup, and then we have a sort of a status setup I could call it and then the last one is another life orb setup but more looking more offensive. Anyway, okay so move set for this first set is Psychic or Psyshock. As I mentioned earlier it's up to depending on whether you will be attacking phys uh, physical defensive Pokemon or special defensive in whichever one it is you're attacking you want to think about that. Obviously you can't predict what you're going to be facing in battle but if you've got enough Pokemon that are going to be able to hit special attackers hard or special defensive Pokemon hard rather. You might want to think about running Psyshock instead of Psychic. It's really just up to you. Then we have Heat Wave. Obviously it's transfer only, so it could be replaced by one of the two choices for the next move, which is Air Slash or Energy Ball. Obviously if you haven't got Heat Wave, you can put Energy Ball up in the, in the Heat Wave spot and run both of those moves. Uh, obviously it's just going to allow you for more type coverage, Air Slash to get some hits off with your stab there, and Energy Ball just, you know, just hits some water types, or rock types, which are obviously going to be super effective against you, and other stuff like that. Obviously we then have Roost as well, which is just going to allow you to last a bit longer in battle and not be taken out in just a few hits, you know, use Roost, heal up, and then attack again I guess. The ability here is Magic Guard, just because it seems to be the most useful of the three abilities there, and obviously it's allowing you to switch in on Stealth Rocks and other things apart from that. The nature here is Timid, which is going to allow you to be ni nice and fast, which is de definitely helpful with your Roosts, and also Energy Ball against the Rock type, which is going to allow you to take the Rock turn out before they can take you out, pretty much. Held Item, as I mentioned, is a Life Orb here, so that's just going to power up all your moves. And the EVs, you want maximum special attack, maximum speed, and the rest in health points. This is just going to allow you to be a nice, fast, um, you know, fast Pokemon, fast Siglyph, just getting, getting in there, hitting, and then sort of going and doing whatever you want to do. So, as I mentioned already, this is just a really generic, offensive setup. Um, you know, you can switch in, you can attack, you can roost up if you need to. Um, as I mentioned, you, know, you are faster, so it means allows you to get some extra hits off on the opponent, hopefully, if you're faster, obviously. Obviously, if they're faster, you're going to have to deal with some hits and then maybe predict the roost, you know, roost up at the right time, rather than having to be able to, you know, roost up while they, or before they attack, rather. So it's going to lay to that. So it's just a generic offensive setup, not a whole lot to say here, really. You guys know how to use the one of these. Next up, we have a cosmic power setup, pretty much. This is one that Sigilyph is most known for, really, so, um, yeah, I've, I've met this in battle before, in one of my ranked Wi-Fi battles, and it was not fun at all, because this thing caught me off guard, because I didn't actually know about Sigilyph then, and sort of sets and such, but this can be quite potent if you use it in the right form. Okay, so the moves here are Cosmic Power, Roost, Psycho Shift, and Stored Power. The ability here is Magic Guard, Nature again is Timid, Held Item this time is a Flame Orb, and then EVs you want to put maximum health points, about 240 in speed, and then an extra 16 in defense. You could alter alternately put maximum speed, and then just put you know the rest in defense. So the moves here, Cosmic Power is obviously going to raise both your defenses, which is going to allow you to actually take quite a lot of hits once you've set up quite a few times. Then we have Roost, which is going to allow you to sort of stay in battle, you know, once you've set up you can use Roost to heal some health points up, and take even more hits. Then Psycho Shift here, well that's going to work with our held item, which is the Flame Orb. The Flame Orb is going to burn you after one turn, and that means the turn after you can use Psycho Shift to transfer your burn onto your opponents, which is especially helpful if you're facing a physical attacker, because that is just going to reduce their effectiveness to almost nothing, and obviously, you know, that's just going to help you in general really. So it also deals some extra damage then, so while you're roosting and cosmic powering, then we take some more damage from the burn there. Last that we have Stored Power, which is your only attacking move on the set, um, and that's going to work in tandem with Cosmic Power there. So once you've Cosmic Powered a few times, Stored Power is going to boost up quite a, quite a, quite a good amount, actually. Um, and obviously you can just shoot some Stored Power off and try and get some good damage there. Ability here is definitely Magic Guard, because obviously it allows you to, you know, if, if, you, if you're facing a special attacker, that's, or if you're facing a you know, Pokemon that's already poisoned or burned or whatever, or you're facing a special attacker and you don't want to use Psycho Shift, you just want to get some attacks off, 
um, or you need to roost or whatever. You don't really want to be taking damage from your burn, so Magic Guard is definitely the better choice in this case. Again, it helps you against rocks and other stuff like that. Nature again is timid, so you can be faster, which is especially good if, obviously, if you're, if you're burned, you want to use Psycho Shift. Ideally, you want to be faster than your physically attacking opponent, so you can get the burn on them before they can attack you. Because obviously, if they attack you, they're going to do more damage without the burn, burn sort of thing. Held item we've talked about already, the Flame Orb, EVs. As I mentioned, you could put maximum speed and then just put the rest in defense, but an extra defense there sort of just helps you bulk up a bit. You could, it could be simplified to maximum, maximum rest, but really, that is the spread. So, as I mentioned already, this is how you use the setup. Come in, if it's safe to do, set up a cosmic power or two, then go for the roost. Um, obviously, we burn, so you know, switch to burn as soon as you can, really. Um, obviously, most experienced battlers will know what's, what most Siglis run. They, most of them run Psycho Shift Flame Orb. Um, so obviously they might switch their physical attacker out of there, but at least you can get the burn off on someone you know, someone else. However, be careful if they already have a Pokemon under a status condition, be careful they might you know, predict that and then switch out to someone who's not going to get burned. So really just sort of think about that, think through what their team has got left on it, etc. And just sort of see, see what we can go from there. So you know, Cosmic Power a few times, Roost up, use a store power, see how much damage you can get off there. And once you've Cosmic Powered a few times, you're going to be able to take quite a few hits, even super effective hits quite well. That's really how to use that setup, there's not a whole lot more to say there. Okay, so the last setup here is an offensive Calm Mind setup. So obviously, you know, looking at using Calm Mind rather than Cosmic Power just to increase your special attack as well, um, which is obviously going to help, whereas Cosmic, Cosmic Power is just increasing your defenses, whereas Calm Mind gives you a attacking increase too. So obviously the moveset here is Calm Mind, Roost, I've put Heat Wave, Heat Wave or Energy Ball. If you have Heat Wave available to you, use Heat Wave. If you don't, you can use Energy Ball or the other alternative there is Air Slash. But really, Energy Ball, I think, in my opinion, is a bit more good. A bit, a bit more good. What I'm, what I mean. Uh, a bit. It's got better type coverage overall. And then the final slot here is Psychic or Psy Shock. As I mentioned again, you can depend, you know, decide on this depending on whether you want to be facing physical defensive Pokemon or special defensive Pokemon. So, then ability again is Magic Guard to protect you against the rocks and other things. Nature is Timid. Held item is a Life Orb. Eevee's maximum special attack, maximum speed, and a rest and health points. I've just remembered this. I completely forgot. I have, I completely, I'm, I'm embarrassed, actually. I haven't mentioned this on the first step. But Magic Guard also protects you against Life Orb damage. So that's a good thing. That's why you're, another reason why you're running Magic Guard on the first setup and this setup. So you don't take any Life Orb damage. Which is amazing, because then you can get the extra boosts without taking any damage from it. So what do you want to do with this set? You want to sort of just run in, maybe use a Calm Mind or two if it's safe to do so, roost up, then get some hits off and see what you can do really. Obviously with Life Orb Boost there, it's very nice, and the Calm Mind is going to help you increase your bulk against special, special attacking Pokemon as well. Obviously watch out for physical attackers because you're not increasing that defense quite as much, so or at all rather. <laughs> um, so just see what you're doing there, so watch what the opponent's doing, and watch what they've got left on their team, other stuff like that. You, you know, it's really all situation based. Again, the nature is timid, and we've got maximum special attack and speed, just because, well, you know, we'll be fast. We'll, we'll be fast, but we'll roost off first, calm mines off first to increase our special defense in case they use a special attack, and then just get the attacks off first in general. And I think that's pretty much it for this set, you know. Just set your calm mines up, go for a roost, go for your attacks, and that is it. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Pokemon Data Dex. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be seeing you next time. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to check out all the other awesome content on Lumio Station and also my channel, there will be a link in the description below. And I'll see you next time guys, thanks for watching, goodbye.